Welcome to Module 3 of Infernia's Training Sessions. Under Insert option, select Furnish. When the space is tagged correctly as a kitchen, the Furnish option here will show the relevant items to be added. Under Kitchen Furniture, you can see the different cabinets and furniture you can add. Let's select Base Unit. You can see a variety of cabinets you can select from. They are also grouped as per their type like corner unit, drawer unit, shutter unit, etc. When you select on the drawer group, the different combination of drawers open up. Click on the drop down arrow under the cabinet image to check the different sizes available for this. So let's say I'm going with the two drawer unit, one medium and one Excel sized with a standard dimension of 450 mm width and 560 mm depth. Click on this to select. Now click on the cabinet again and it will be added to your model. You can place it as required. When you move it towards the wall, it will automatically align itself correctly. The carousal also has an option of search. Let's say I am looking at a, a, a two drawer unit. Then both the two drawer units will be shown here and out of that you can make a selection. The Furnish option also has a large catalog of beds, sofas and tables to select from. Let's try furnishing this bedroom. Select bedroom furniture and choose bed. Click on the desired model and it will start reflecting in your workspace. Place it as per your requirement. The snap settings will help you place it easily. Rotate it if required. Let's check the 3D again. In this way, you can furnish your entire apartment. When you are adding furniture to your model, we strongly suggest that you always use the room view of your model and while placing cabinets, try to view the room in an angular manner and zoom out slightly so that when you open the carousal, let's say I am installing a base unit, when you open the carousal, you can install it into your model directly. When you are installing base units, by default it snaps to the wall and the floor. When you try to install the next unit, it will snap next to the first unit. In this way you can create your entire base unit line. In the same manner, when you try to install wall units, let's say we are trying to install a shutter unit here. When you are trying to install wall unit, it snaps to the wall and has an elevation. So, if I am installing it on the wall now, to change the elevation of any wall unit, you can select the unit and go into the customize option here and under there you will see the option of position and rotation. When you open this, you can see at what elevation it's standing right now. Suppose you want to make any changes here, then you can make the same by inputting the value. And the unit will change. As per the nature of the cabinet, whether it's a base unit or a wall unit, it aligns itself with the floor or the wall. Another way to move your cabinets accurately is by using the offset tool. Under the architecture option, there is an offset tool here. So herein you can, you need to select the cabinet and then select offset tool. Select the corner of the cabinet that you want to move and, and select the point where you need to move the cabinet. The cabinet moves accurately to that point. By default, when you select the cabinet and try to move it, it snaps automatically to the walls or the corners. In case you want to create island kitchens or want to move cabinets without snapping, then select the shift button on your keyboard and the, and the snap lines will be temporarily disabled. When you select the cabinet, the rotation tool appears over it which you can use 
to select and rotate your cabinet as per your requirement. As you can see, the cabinet is now rotated and installed in the center. Once you have added any furniture, let's say I'm adding a kitchen base unit here, which is a shutter unit. I'm selecting a 600 into 560 into 720 unit and I am adding the unit in my model space. So as you can see, the unit is now added. If I want to change the dimensions of this unit, then select the unit and in the design panel, under the quick action tab, you will get the option of dimensions. The same option will also be available under your customized tab in the dimension option. Uh, when you check the dimensions, you can make whatever changes that are required by inputting the value here. If I want a 900 mm height unit, then I can just input the value and the, and the cabinet will increase in height. The width as well, I can make changes. If I want a 450 mm unit, then I can input 450 and the dimension will change. And the same goes for depth as well. Suppose I want a 450 mm depth, then the depth will decrease. This is how you can customize a shutter unit. Dimensioning for corner units are slightly different from regular cabinets. Hence, we will look into this individually. Suppose if you install a blind corner unit of 900 mm dimension, then when you select the cabinet under the dimensions option, you can see height, width, depth and, and shutter width. So the height, if you want to change it to 900 mm, you can simply input the value and click outside and the unit will be revised. Same goes for the width. If you want to revise the width of the unit, you can input the value and click outside and the width will increase. Depth, if I want to make it 450 mm, the depth will decrease. Then the extra option that you have for corner unit is the shutter width. Shutter width meaning this particular area, how much width you want the shutter area to be. As you can see for this corner unit, there is one shutter that is installed. The size of this area over which the shutter needs to be installed and the rest is a blind space. So 450 is the dimension of this shutter, the space that you need to give for the shutter and the rest will be considered width for the blind space. So currently it's 450 mm. If I want to increase it by to 600, then I can simply input the value and click outside and the shutter space will become 450 and the blind corner area will decrease. This is how you can customize the dimension of a blind corner unit. Let us check the L corner. So I will go ahead and install a L corner unit. I have added a L corner to my model here and if I select the cabinet then under dimensions I am getting these options where I can customize. Height is the same thing. So 900 if I click the height will become 900. The front back and the side back I am hiding the countertop to help show which is the space. The front back and the side back are this and this dimensions. So Let's just check the dimensions once for clarity. This is the front back and this is the side back. So if you want to make any changes, then let's say I am making this as, suppose I am making this 1100 mm, then it, it, it increases by 200 mm here. And if I want to make the same changes to the side back, then I can again do the same and it increases this side. Now the side left and the front left. So side left is this particular dimension and the front right is this dimension. So if you want to make changes to it then let's say I want to make the side left into 450 mm then this side will decrease. Similarly the front right if I want to make it 450 mm then this will decrease again so th for a corner unit this is how you need to make the changes in the dimension or customize the sizes of it if you are inserting any object 
like an obj file like let's say i'm adding a sofa so if i am adding a sofa come bed here if i've added a sofa here then i can change the dimensions of the sofa as well if i want to increase the depth of it so let's say 1200 mm then the depth will increase and if i want to increase the width of it to let's say 2400 then it will increase in size however please note that when you are making changes in obj files ensure that the dimensions you are putting are proportionate suppose you are in inserting any object like a artwork suppose i install a painting here then these sort of items also can be changed in terms of dimension suppose if i want this to be of 900 mm cross 1000 mm then i can make the changes when you select the cabinet and go into shutter systems here it you will see the option of shutter design if you open the drop down you will see the type of shutter that you want to use whether you want a profile shutter or a normal shutter you can select as per the requirement and when you go into normal shutter the different types of shutters that are available are shown if you need an aluminum shutter then there are particular designs for that similarly we have fluted shutters wooden or glass we also have glass shutter options and lastly the wooden shutters which are of different designs that are available here as per your requirement you can select whichever shutter is required as you can see the shutter is now changed here when you click on any shutter using the right click of your mouse the internal view of the drawer is shown the same works for drawers as well when you click on the shutter again then the shutter will be closed to customize the handle of your cabinet select the particular cabinet and go into shutter option here and you will get the option to customize your handle and the handle that is currently installed will be shown here you can click on this which is a apply change handle option and the carousel where all the different types of handles are available will be shown to you here you can change the category of what type of handle you want to use you have the option of using regular handles or profile and gola handles suppose if you are using any regular handle then you can select whichever handle you want to use let's say i am using azh then the handle will be changed here and as you can see the handle is now azh suppose you want to add gola profile or profile handles then select here and you will get the option in under kitchen profile handles of what type of gola you want to use so here if you are using l shape you can just select l shape and as you can see the gola profile handle is now added to customize the handle of your cabinet select the particular cabinet and go into shutter option here and you will get the option to customize your handle and the handle that is currently installed will be shown here rather than inputting the value manually if you want to have the standard options then you can also select from the handle placement option in the drop down you will get a lot of specification as to where you want to put it suppose i want to put it in the center top then it will be placed in the center top and i want the handle to be placed in a horizontal way so it will be placed in a horizontal way this is how you can make the changes to the uh, handle in terms of placement to change the opening direction of your shutter select the shutter and go into shutter system option here in go into construction tab and you will be able to see under the shutter design option you will be able to see another option of toggle opening direction 
if you select that the opening direction will change similarly if you select that again it will change to the other side to add mirror to any particular cabinet select the shutter where you want to add the mirror and go into the shutter option here here in go into customize and select add mirror select the particular mirror available and a mirror of the required size will be added thank you for watching